size mapping allows us to set certain rules to prevent inappropriate ad sizes from serving. For example, you have a 970 by 250 on desktop, but you cannot serve that size on a mobile device. Otherwise, the ad will be cut off and it's going to be a violation. In worst case scenario, it's going to hurt your user experience, preventing them from visiting your site again. Now with size mapping, we can set a rule, let's say this 970 by 250 ad, I'd like to serve the same exact ad on mobile, but if on mobile, I only want it to serve as a 300 by 250. Or let's say you have another 728 by 90 ad here, and the same exact ad serves on mobile, but here it can only serve as 320 by 50. If you are using Ad Manager, Tag Generator, and Tester, you can enable size mapping when you go to Advanced Options, enabling size mapping, and set up all your rules in here. With the use of advanced ads, it's now a lot easier for us to set up responsive ads without worrying about the codes on the site. For example, I'm going to take this top leaderboard ad unit, and I have three sizes configured for it. First, you need to start with a plan. For example, looking at this ad unit, I want all three sizes to be eligible across all devices, both desktop and mobile, and might also include tablet. But on mobile, I only want the 300 by 250 alone to be eligible. Next, you have to decide on the minimum width for the viewport for different types of device categories. For example, for desktop, I'll set 992 pixels as the minimum width, tablet 768 pixels, mobile 320 pixels, other devices zero. Now when we say minimum width, it means that if we are to specify sizes eligible to serve for that minimum width, that means we don't really care about the height of the device, but the width. So for as long as the device is at least 992 pixels wide, we can then say that these are the sizes I want to be eligible to serve. If the device is at least 768 pixels wide but less than 992, these are the sizes eligible to serve. And the same for mobile, 320 pixels wide at least but less than 768, these are the sizes I want to be eligible to serve. Now this is just an example but you can definitely follow the standard minimum width for your setup. Now how do we implement this using advanced ads? On WordPress, navigate to advanced ads ads and click a new ad give it a name and because we also have the google ad manager add-on we select that and from the list of ad units in here that's synchronized with our google ad manager account we will select the top leaderboard we're trying to set up now because we'd like to have all those sizes eligible for both desktop and tablet i'll set 768 as the minimum width and keep them ticked click the plus sign and this time I'm going to set zero and uncheck these two large sizes in here. So what does this tell you? If the minimum screen width of the user's device is at least 768 pixels, all three sizes will be eligible to serve for this ad unit. Anything less than 768 or smaller than 768 pixels only serve the 300 by 250. You can also tick this to automatically filter out ad sizes that are too large, for the available space in the front end. Set up the rest of the settings as required. For example, if you have KVPs, if you want to limit how the ad will be displayed and shown to the users, once all good, click on publish. And at this stage, select the placement where you want the ad to show up and your ad is now live. And when you try to inspect the site, it should show you the code in there. The size mapping is also integrated in the code. Now you can repeat the same steps for the rest of your ad units and set them up on advanced ads. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.